I can never tell you enough about home security, so you're not going to want to miss today's video. Don't go away. Hey everybody, it is Paul with Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. I gotta tell you, beautiful is not quite the word I would choose today. It's odd. It's odd Las Vegas, Nevada. Seriously, my house is the, the borderline going east and west. Everything south, dark and rainy. Everything north, blue and beautiful. It's weird. I don't know if it's gonna rain or be sunny. I have no idea. But it is New Year's Eve day. I have nothing on my plate. I thought it's a great day to share a video with you. So today we're going to look at the Schleg, Schleg Sense door lock. Say that three times fast. Good luck with that. All right, let's take a look at it, should we? To remove your old deadbolt, there's going to be two screws on the inside side of the door. Simply undo those and then both halves of the lock will pull apart from the door and it just leave the bolt itself in the door. And then you'll have a hole going through here. To install the new Schlage lock, very simple. There's one screw underneath this cap right here. And there's one screw right here. You're simply going to sandwich the two sides of the lock through the opening, put the two screws in, tighten it up. Once you have this screwed on, you'll install your little 9 volt battery. I always find this tricky to get out of here. Okay, but anyhow, here's your little battery pack, okay? And there's a battery right there. So you'll install your battery, then you'll put your cap on, and it's installed. It's really that quick. Now, you're going to need to download the Schlage app and it has some fabulous features. It will actually walk you right through the installation of this. If you need a new deadbolt part, it comes with that. It comes with shims, it comes with adapters and anything you need. But for most houses, it's going to be a simple process of just putting the two sides on, on either side of the door, putting the two screws in and putting the battery in. That's it. Now, once we have this installed, We'll use the app to install our codes and you can put as many codes in as you like. You can make them permanent, you can make them temporary. So if you have a, um, a one-time use, you can put in a one-time code and once it's used, it'll disappear. To work the door from the inside, it's just a simple turn of the knob. Now anytime the door is locked or unlocked, you're going to get a notification that tells you door was unlocked. Okay, now we'll lock it. And there it is. Okay, so once you have it installed on your door, it's going to look fairly normal, kind of like just a normal digital door lock. Okay, there's nothing to tell you that this is HomeKit enabled. You've got a, a normal key port where you can put your key in in case something goes wrong. You always have this as a backup and then you have the keypad. Now, the keypad looks a little weird and that's because it's fingerprintless. So, uh, people can't look and see what numbers you've been touching it and narrow down the code. And to get into the house, it's a real simple matter of just touching the numbers. One, two, three, four, and the door unlocks. There you have it. Now, when you leave, if you want to lock it from here, all you gotta do is just touch Schlage and the door is locked, okay? That's all there is to it from the outside. Now, I have to tell you, it took me a long time to decide to buy this lock. Why? It was over $200 for this thing. Now, uh, many years back, I had changed out my deadbolt with a Schlage digital keypad, and it didn't have all the home kit and home automation stuff with it. It was just pretty much sort of like what you see here with a touchpad. And I really loved it. It was really reliable and it, it eliminated us having to fight with keys and whatnot. So I really loved it. And it was still working like a champ. So it was really hard for me to decide to spend over $200 on this guy. Now, 
I finally talked myself into it, and I haven't looked back even once. I love this thing, okay? I've never felt more secure. So why is that? What is so special about this? Well, first of all, super easy to install, okay? Price, yes, is a, a catch point, but when you see the other things about it, it's justifiable. All right, so it's super easy to install. The app works great. It clearly shows you the status of the lock. By using the history, you can see what it's been doing. Of course, you have sub-menus where you can f access additional features. The lock and the app are HomeKit compatible, and they're easy to connect to your HomeKit system. Setting access codes is super easy, and you can also set the access codes to disappear after a single use, or a single week, or a single day. Whatever you want, you have a lot of flexibility. You can update the firmware settings, check the time zone, name the lock, get information on the lock, adjust beeps, and other features. With a simple touch of the screen, your front door is locked. Now I will tell you, when you're connecting, if you have uh, one of those dual band Wi-Fi systems where you have two, uh, 2.4K or whatever it is and, and 5K or whatever, I, you know, the two different bands, use the lower one, okay, because this thing gets really grumpy about using that uh, new high-speed uh, connection. It's not going to like it. So make sure you change the uh, setting on your phone before you do the setup so you don't have a problem getting this thing to work for you, okay? So I love the fact that I can put in a lot of different codes, and I especially love the fact that I can put in temporary codes, codes that will automatically erase themselves. So if uh, I'm going on a week-long trip and I want somebody to check my house on Wednesday, I can give them a code, they can come check the house, use the code, when they leave, that code is gone, I don't have to worry about it, it was a one-time deal, and it's over. So that's a nice little feature. I also have access to my door from anywhere, okay? I always know the status of my door. I know if it's locked, I know if it's unlocked. And if for some reason it's unlocked and it shouldn't be, a touch of a button from anywhere and my door will lock, okay? I really love that. But I haven't even gotten to the home automation part yet uh, where when I'm using it with, with Siri, I, I can't not begin to tell you how cool this is going to be. And we're going to show you that here in a minute. Now, one last feature that this has that is kind of nice, hopefully I never have to use it, is it's got a forced alarm in it. So if somebody is trying to force my door open and they're banging on it, pushing really hard, it will set off an alarm in the lock itself and, and let me know that that is going on. Uh, I assume I would hear it. I don't know how valuable a, uh, a thing that is, especially because I do have the ring doorbell and I have the ring alarm, but uh, it's just a nice little bit other feature. So uh, that's the lock in essence, and that's how it works. But now let me take you inside and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you guys up so you can see in the living room and you can see the door lock because this is my favorite part. Okay, so we're back inside and I've got the other camera set up over by the front door. And uh, this is my living room here. Okay, you can see that light behind me is on. Okay, my TV light's on. We're going to pretend it's nighttime even though, well, clearly it isn't. Okay, it's it's broad daytime. So we're going to pretend it's nighttime, and I've been down here watching TV and forgot to lock the bed. Uh, I forgot to lock the bed. I'm such an idiot. I forgot to lock the door. It's bedtime, and I forgot to lock the door, okay? I'm getting ready to go upstairs, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, Siri, good night. Good night. 
Okay, you saw the lights go off, and you can hear it in the background. I'll show you a video. The front door locked. I know that my house is secure as I go up to go to bed. Okay, so there you have it. The Schlage, Schlage Sense door lock. Now, understand, any deadbolt is going to lock your front door. That's not what this is about. What this is about is the additional features and the ability to monitor my home from anywhere. That is the best part and the best feature that this lock brings. I can look in and understand the condition of my house from anywhere. I know when people come, I know when people go, I know what, if the house is locked and if there's an emergency, I have the ability to let people in from any place that I might be. I also love the fact that with HomeKit and Scenes, I can be sure that my door is going to be locked when I leave the house, okay? I love that. That, right there, you hear that? That's my ring doorbell doing its job, telling me there's somebody out here. All right, I paid a lot for this lock, and that was the big deterrent, but no more. It's now really affordable on Amazon. There's going to be a link below where you can get this lock for way less than I paid for it. I really kind of got screwed on that deal, but you're not going to. You're going to get it for this great price, and I highly recommend it. I really, really do. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, ask any questions, make any comments. I really do read them all, and I try and answer them if I can. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you have a fantastic day. Until next time, be good.